Okay. And? Yep. Alright. 11.15 eh. Sekejap lah. Kita bagi. I think we can start now. Minutes. Yeah. Uh, right. One one more minute to go. Okay. One more minute. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then attendees. All right. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Hello Malaysia. Hi everyone. Apa khabar semua? So my name is Architect Adrianta Aziz and I will be your moderator for today. Uh, this session will be speaking in dual language if possible to accommodate the presentation. And for your information, this is the six series of webinar session brought to you by Malaysia Productivity Corporation MPC MyCure. So let me explain what is MyCure. MyCure is a simple methodology for cutting red tape bureaucracy, taking out the complexity and simplifying procedures towards more efficient and effective public service delivery. So in the Malaysia context, MyCure is one of the government's initiatives under Good Regulatory Practice, GRP, in reviewing regulatory processes and procedures. MyCure is a program to encourage and equip government agency with the necessary capacity, tools and guide to undertake their own regulatory review and administrative simplification at their own initiative. Typically, it involves four phases. Phase one is about defining the issues and problems. Phase two is about measuring the current performance. Phase three, to collect data and root cause analysis. And phase four is to propose recommendation and solutions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today we have Mr. Shukri Hadafi bin Hamdan, who will be delivering his topic on how to make operation process flow in MyCure program. After hearing on MyCure concept as a whole and how to identify the problem statement in previous MyCure session, let's move to the next phase of the implementations. Mr. Shukri will be covering visualizations, the routines, identifying irregularities in the operations, walking through the processes, identifications of issues and challenges, and also data collection plan. Before that, let me read about Mr. Shukri Hadafi biography. He is the CEO Gemba Solution, MPC Lean Management Specialist and Toyota Kodavari Instructor. He is a member of Associate of Persatuan Professional Melayu Malaysia and Associate Malaysia Productivity Corporation. He has over 16 years extensive experience in driving full spectrum corporate transformation, quality improvement, and change management towards achieving learner processes as well as greater profitability. Well versed in adapting the Toyota way towards enhancing businesses, operations, and performance coupled with exceptional capabilities to train and instill performance driving culture into the workforce. Recognized as an innovative and charismatic professional with vast knowledge in productivity and quality matters. Mr. Shukri Hadati appointed as the first Kaizen instructor in UMW Toyota Motor to implement the Toyota service marketing standards in Malaysia, resulting in significant improvement in customer service standards. So let well, we welcome to Mr. Shukri Hadati Hamdan. Assalamualaikum. Shukri. Waalaikumsalam and how are you? Fine, terima kasih. Thank you for your time spending us this morning. So this is our second time now. Eh? We meet each other through online. Yeah, and yes, is a I I believe this is a continuity from your first session. Yeah, it, it will be yeah. a continuity of the first session that we conducted on the 22nd of April. Yeah, correct, so, correct. Yeah, I will try to connect the dots that I left during that session. Wonderful, because I really uh, admire and very informative presentation that you conducted before. So I'm looking forward to 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 hear your your next uh, explanation about how to visualize the operations process flow. So now 
I leave the floor to you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, selamat pagi to all the attendees. So we are uh, moving towards uh, hari the last phase of uh, Ramadan, and I believe uh, some of you or most of you are uh, already in the raya mode. Even though we can't really go back home, go back to our hometown, but uh, the feeling of uh, meraihkan Ramadan, uh, going towards raya is uh, there. Yeah, so. I really appreciate, yeah, because uh, still we have a huge number turning up today uh, to 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 uh, listen to this uh, topic, yeah. And I would like to welcome also a big group from uh, Malacca, uh, SUK, UPAN Malacca, for joining these uh, sessions. So uh, for for info, uh, Malacca will be participating in my cure for this year, 2020. It's supposed to start, but because of MCO, we are planning uh, for a, a online session. But this is going to be a, a very good uh, introduction uh, for you to understand further on uh, this uh, project or the micro. Okay, and as what yep. uh, being uh, uh, briefed by Anne just now, thank you very much for the free advertisement on my profile. All right, mm -hmm. so. Uh, Today, the topic is more on how to visualize the operation process flow. It's a very simple uh, topic, and I think most of you, uh, without even uh, without even uh, listening to this topic, you you already know. Uh, process flow is a is a box is a is a open up a drawing table, and you start to holding a pen, and then you start to draw the process. All right, as simple as uh, how how. As simple as the the, the procedures that uh, happening during the MCO, you have been briefed uh, by the by the government or from the social media on how to queue at the supermarket and how to how to uh, uh, wear the mask and then when you should uh, fill up a form. So all this is a process flow, all right. But uh, for today, I'll be focusing more on the micro, all right. How uh, we approach uh, this uh, process flow in cutting the red tape program. All right. Okay. Uh, before I, I jump into this uh, topic, I would like to recap. Yeah, recap a bit on the uh, the last session that was conducted on twenty third of fourth uh, under the topic of uh, eliminating the old uh, procedures. And we're coming a new procedures, right? So in that session, uh, this is the, the 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 framework, yeah, from a complicated uh, process flow to the simplified process flow. And today, my focus is actually will be rounding at the complicated ones, yeah, because uh, the simplified version uh, in cutting the red tape will only happen during phase four. And today, I'm gonna talk about phase one, okay? Phase one after you identify the problem we have to visualize okay the whole problem we have to look into the process of the rounding the problems all right so uh, uh this is again uh, i think by now uh, everyone should 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 uh, uh, aware that in our daily life all right in our daily routines in our working procedures uh, there's always a request and there's a delivery okay saya rasa tak ada yang Yang kerja uh, work, eh, do, uh, yang tak ada orang request, and then you don't need to deliver anything. So that that is ridiculous, yeah. Normally in anything, especially in work, there must be a party that request for an input, and then we we do a process uh, to transform whatever raw materials or uh, services that we have into uh, a product that is. Uh, uh, that is requested by the customer. In context of micro, kebiasaannya, the project that we got is uh, in terms of the licensing, the permit, okay? So, uh, the request is, uh, I want the permit, I want the license. But then, you have to verify a few things so that it can be delivered as a permit to the customers. But in the process of uh, transmitting or in the process of uh, 
transforming uh, the request into into the product that they, that is requested by the customers. Dekat dalam tu, there are two things that are going to happen. Eh. Satu non-value added, satu value added. Again, I'm going to talk about the same thing. Eh. But today, the scope will be a bit different. All right. So as uh, illustrated in this uh, in this slide ataupun in this uh, graphic, typically less than 30% of the time uh, memang uh, spent on non-value added. The non-value added is the yellow yang yang color kuning tu, alright? Uh, whereby only sikit saja yang kita buat uh, value added. And I I nak recap balik uh, in term of this uh, value added ni, I, I will not go in detail because I already explained this on the last session. Value added ni is something that the customer willing to pay and then it transform uh, the 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 product ataupun the the service into the product that customer want and then it can be done right at the first time tak ada tak ada salah-salah nak tengok balik review balik no so only kalau step tu berkaitan dengan these three then only we can say is value added all right and then the rest is non value added and necessary non value added uh, activity i'm going to explain on this because hari ni fokus kita lebih kepada macam mana kita nak cari this uh, value added ni and non value added melalui uh, process flow uh, by by doing a process flow all right so now Let's uh, move to the next one, yeah. Okay, so today touch point. Uh, ini uh, in general, lah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna be so technical in term of uh, the, 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 the language ataupun the terminology. But today we, we will, we will, uh, I will share with you how you want to visualize your routine. Macam mana you nak visualize the things that you do every day. Yeah, even like uh, kalau hari ni, yeah, you, you try to, you hold a paper. And then you start to uh, to list each and every step that you do. Uh, maybe the guys too, you boleh nampak. Eh, hey, why I'm I'm going to this place uh, many times? Supposingly I should do this one first. Ataupun today you plan to go out. You nak keluar. Uh, plan to go to hardware shop. Lepas tu you plan to to go to restaurant. And then you plan to buy something from Jaya Grocer. Alright. If you do not plan properly, ataupun you tak visualize the routine. Actually, you just go with the flow. You tak kisah pun balik buku berapa ke. You don't really care. But then, if you start to visualize, then you will start to plan. Okay, uh, based on this distance, uh, I should go to the Jaya Grocer first. Then only I go to other places. Alright. So I will, I will, I will share with you how you want to visualize your routine. Okay, that's number one. Number two, after you visualize your routine, you have to identify what are the irregularities in the operations. Okay. Tapi the, the issue is that sometimes because we have been doing it for so long, we cannot identify. We we are unable to identify either this is a, a, a irregularity, something that need to be removed, or it is something that we have to do for no reason. All right. So I will share also with you uh, how you want to eliminate the irregularities. Actually, in fact. <clears throat> dia punya tool sama je macam what I've already told you on the 23rd but today I'm going to put it in the in this angle alright and then how we want to walk through the processes how you want to walk through the processes uh, this is something yang I I have to highlight eh, because uh, normally when we do a workshop uh, dia dia kita suruh lah uh, all groups uh, please draw your process flow alright but then dia jadi satu competition pula siapa nak siap dulu it's not that is it by right you should spend more time on looking on the issue it's not about uh, uh, having a, a process flow bukannya kita nak benda tu siap yeah? but then we want you to walk through okay walk through carefully at each and every step of the process all right and then of course number four is to identify the issue so these are the the four steps that i'm going to run through in the next uh berapa lama time lagi ada dah in the next 25 minutes maybe 30 minutes boleh boleh 30 minutes okay yeah. All right, now let's uh, move here. Okay, now process mapping. Eh? Uh, process mapping. Uh, so, kat sini, I rasa semua orang dah, 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 dah boleh nampak lah. Eh? Uh, someone is drawing the map. Okay, tunjukkan macam mana proses-proses tu. Tapi, today in a very uh, simple way, I will explain to all of you macam mana nak buat eh? this process mapping. Okay. This is a one of the popular uh, slide that we use in the cutting the red tape. Eh? The purpose of process mapping, the, pu the purpose of mapping, mapping your flow, is actually to immediately 
make the problem visible immediately okay because uh, i i want to recap back the session that have been uh, shared by uh, my sifu cik kabe and then by uh, ir riwayat by miss tuti right we talk about problems yeah we identify the problems but then how we want to make sure uh, the problem really exists okay and how you want to make sure part of the statement of the the, the problem statement though, which is the critical area uh, for us uh, in order for us to to identify the critical area of the problem we need to do the mapping okay because by mapping then only we will know what are the the, the glaring issue the glaring issue from the, the whole process law so i give you here the illustration of the apple kalau you letak semua tu uh, same color you cannot see okay? but then if you start to 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 identify ataupun to to put uh, satu apple yang color lain then only you can visualize eh? uh, kalau nak ambil lepas ni ambil yang merah saja uh, if you want to avoid ataupun if you want to avoid uh, apple yang tak sedap uh, then uh, people no need to tak payah nak tengok satu-satu straight away you can you, you you can choose the right apple all right so this is the 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 illustration that uh, i want everybody to to understand all right okay now uh in uh process mapping or in general or in general there are three types of uh uh process flow that uh normally we do yeah the first one we call it a 30000 feet view 30000 feet view ni bermaksud you it, it is very bird eye view atau very general uh, we use this uh, tapi not to detail out tapi lebih kepada nak fahamkan uh, the whole operations okay, before we detail out okay this is 30000 feet macam ni secara macro, macam, uh, macro yeah, yeah secara micro uh, contohnya yeah. uh, secara macro sorry so uh, contohnya if you you go unite flight kan unite flight uh, when you were in airport you thought okay lah you just your view just dekat airport lah you you naik flight and then you board you board you masuk dalam flight but once the flight take off you naik atas baru you perasan eh actually this airport in our house eh, not so not so far dekat je pun oh, oh this is where the jam happen just now no wonder we jam uh, itu you you have a better idea okay when you have the 30000 feet view and then satu lagi kita ada uh, the detail process flow the second one eh, the detail process flow so this is normally you buat bila you buat macam accreditation program lah uh, basically eh, you don't really want to walk through tapi you just want to show that this is the process that we have uh, every parties involved inside that so all will be in one page okay but normally quite difficult lah untuk, untuk you you identify siapa buat apa because it's just a step now we don't really specify who who are doing it okay so normally kalau you buat macam ISO ke or any uh, certification or accreditation program uh, you will use this but what we are suggesting uh, dekat dalam project my cure we use the swim lane the swim lane bermaksud yeah, uh, like the third one lah kita ada the person in charge or the department and then what are the steps uh, untuk setiap uh, department tu okay we call it a swim lane because uh, yalah macam kita kita swim lah kan dia ada dia punya dia punya lane by lane alright so from there kita akan tahu the load ataupun the uh, the process or the step by every individual tu all right okay this is the 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 the, the, the type so at this point i will uh, i want to share the best approach untuk kita buat micro is by using the swim lane all right is it okay mm. yep, yep all right okay. now so uh i also want to highlight uh, because when we talk about the process flow in the concept of lean ataupun six sigma kita selalu gunakan value tree mapping ya yeah? value tree mapping whereby dekat dalam value tree mapping ni uh, kita akan identify the start and end point on stage and backstage uh, so in the value tree mapping uh, we are concerning about the customer request and then how we process it and then the customer completed transaction so when we do value tree mapping ni uh, kita nak make sure in the process flow only value added activities happen right so what i'm try, uh, what i'm trying to tell you here uh, in uh, cutting the red tape of course we are the objective is uh, towards this tapi kita tak adalah gunakan uh, this uh, concept uh, in detail yeah? because uh, kita lebih kepada 
uh, mapping to sendiri. Uh, so this is value chain mapping. I just want to tell you to share so that everyone knows uh, the the fundamental ataupun the underlying concept of what I gonna share later on is still based on value chain mapping. Tapi kita tak pergi in detail, alright? And then other than okay. that, uh, there's also a cypok. Yeah? Uh, we call it this is a, a quality concept that we use. Okay, uh, supplier and then what are the input yang masuk. Uh, contohnya, uh, supplier ni customer come lah. Customer come and give you a document. And then you ask for input. You tanya, document-document apa yang perlu untuk saya proses this application. Uh, so then it call a process. After you do a process, you have to come up with an output you have to transform whatever input has been given to you into the product that the customer want and then you pass back to the customer so this is uh, the the flow that we expect from the process flow all right so uh, normally kalau you tengok nanti bila kita buat process flow uh, dia issue dia is that how much time that you spend in the process okay uh, so process tu yang biasanya lama uh, uh, it, it takes too long uh, before you pass back to the customer so this is the underlying concept there are two First is the 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 value stream mapping and second is cypop, alright. So, but without kita tak gunakan in so details ya yeah, untuk untuk dua konsep. Tapi what I'm trying to tell you the underlying uh, concept ataupun what we have to park in our mind when we draw the process flow is this. Ah, jangan kita kita lari kita kita pakai satu konsep yang salah lah. Okay, mm. alright. So now uh, I akan masuk macam mana nak buat process flow. Eh? Uh, very simple. Okay, this is the photo taken when when I was in in Toyota dulu. Uh, this is the program. If I'm not mistaken, we do it in uh, uh, Saudi. Yeah, we are looking into one dealers of uh, service center. Uh, this is the situation lah. Kita tengok, kita gunakan kertas, and then we use so we use post-it notes. Yeah. All right. Uh, so this is the process flow. Eh? So what you need. Okay, to all the participants, if you are planning to do a process flow, uh, these are the the fundamental or the what are required. Okay, uh, so if you want to go to the war, make sure you have enough equipment. So the first one, the team members. Guys, this is very crucial because uh, if uh, you don't have sufficient team members, then you your process flow too will not be connected. Or maybe some of it is wrong because you not get you you are not getting enough uh, info or the right source. Okay, and then number two, uh, we also recommend if you do a video camera a recording of the processes before you come to the workshop, just take a photo or a video of the processes so that because we we when we do a process flow, it's not about uh, uh, mapping the best processes. When you do a process flow, it's about mapping the actual processes that are happening. All right. So sometimes it is not ideal. Uh, yeah, it's not ideal. So it is normal for you to have a, a, a very complicated flow. All right. So uh, I would suggest that you have this video camera and recording. Now, of course, in the cutting the red tape programs uh, previously, we don't we don't have this. Uh, a practice in place but i would suggest uh, if uh, we 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 use this uh, maknanya prior to the workshop uh, you already taken a few uh, photo or video so that it can be translated straight to the when we discuss the process flow and then number 3 uh, post it notes yeah dia ada ada yang yang uh, cakap lah eh hey, we use post it notes uh, now kan ada teknologi we can use uh, laptop huh? and we can use laptop, mm -hmm. we can straight away use the visual, uh, we call it, other uh, other few lah application that we can use. Is My it can be used by iPhone, 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 smartphone? iPhone, Boleh? smartphone, mm. yeah. there, are, there are many apps lah which you yep, can yep. produce uh, good process flow. But again, Correct. I want to share with all of you, uh, it's not about uh, having a nice process flow in cutting the red tape. It mm. is about mapping and understand the process that you guys do so it's good to have a post-it notes okay so that you will just scribble and you will just uh, write whatever processes that you do okay uh, for some uh, example or for some uh, uh, activities or through my experience in in, in uh, doing this process mapping what i practice is that i will call the staff and then i will ask them 
can you just write down what you do every day? Mm. You you don't put it in sequence first. You just write. Okay. Uh, at first, I, I I check in and then I check my email. Then only you arrange, so that you will have a better understanding. Because there must be some of the step, not even not part of the process. So you can ask, hey, don't don't talk about value added and non value added. But the step that you are doing now is not part of the process. Why you are doing it? All right. So th th that's the beauty of having the post-it notes. And then number three is the process flow chart. Of course, one bit paper for you to paste it. And then the copies of the supporting dividends, uh, supporting evidence, sorry. Okay. And then of course, the laptop need more on compilations. Lah, all right. Because uh, we, you, you cannot have uh, the process flow to stay forever. Eh? Nanti dia akan koyak or maybe dia akan detach. So you still have to summarize it. Okay, now. Uh, I, I just want to go back to the previous photo so that you can visualize uh, that that's how it gonna looks like when you do a process flow. All right, it's a bit messy, but uh, very effective. Okay. And uh, okay, I want to repeat, but it's not about how fast you develop the process flow, but how much issues you able to capture while drawing it. Okay, and yeah, uh, I think for, 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 for architecture, yeah. I think we related this one. The, the the beautiful part is about the process. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I had experience where, uh, before okay, we we attended this uh, workshop of doing the process flow. Uh, tiba tiba there's one hero, uh, give a good news to the group. Hey guys, I already have the process flow with me. Poo. Because oh yeah, alhamdulillah. So you don't need to do anything lah. These two days are just uh, lepak lepak aja lah because we already that just show that we are busy only to other groups. No. It shouldn't be that way, yeah. Because mm -hmm. whatever record that you have is an ideal, is uh, something that uh, you have in mind. But the reason of us to do this, my cure, we want to make sure the real process. We want to validate the real process so that we can get the issues. Okay, we can get the issues. What are the underlying issues that keep on happening and make the customer not happy? All right. So. Mm -hmm. To, 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 to Malacca group and uh, to all the participants, I hope uh, we, we are clear on this uh, because during our last discussion when we discussed about the problem code, uh, there are some that claim that uh, we are already in the best processes. But uh, I think to be honest, uh, based on the previous, uh, ex uh, previous uh, experience, that's what we have in mind, but it's not really happening uh, in the real operations. Okay? Okay, now. Very, very simple. I think this one I, I discussed with my kids even. I tanya, dia boleh paham? <laughs> I try to make it simplify. Okay, now the first step is that write down the process name and staff name. Okay, so for example, uh, kat sini ada registration. This is the process. I imagine this is one uh, big paper, eh? ataupun A4 paper or A3 paper. Even you can use AO paper. All right, and then uh, this is the, the person in charge. Okay, the rule of the person in charge, eh? Jangan letak department eh. It has to be the real person. Okay. So because if you put a department ataupun if you start to put a group of people uh, as a person in charge, then you cannot determine who's doing what. Okay. Mm. So these are the first step. Okay. Uh, you draw the lines or maybe it can be pre-printed and then you write the process, uh, one process for one paper and then you discuss. Okay. And then you start to write the person in charge. So this is the first step. Okay. Okay lah, I mean some of you sekarang dah cakap dah. Uh, maybe you already uh, fikir dah, eh boleh lah terus buat ni dekat laptop. Again, I want to mention, if you are uh, you you are so confident that you can still walk through the process by looking at the PC, I'm okay. Okay, but the best way, again, is not about having a good process flow ataupun it's not having a nice process flow as an output, tapi the real output is the issues. So I still believe conventional way. Put it on the paper. Get a post-it note and paste it. So that's number one. Step number one. Okay, simple. Then we go to process number two. Then we start to according to the video or according to the discussions. A video is the ideal one. Write down, write down the job item on the post-it notes and put it onto the process flow. So get the post-it notes, write whatever things that the staff is doing, and then put uh, paste it there. Okay. All right. Don't don't. Uh, some of you uh, nak buat cepat. Uh, okay. Uh, we have uh, many processes, 
uh, you do this one and I'll do another one so that we can complete it before lunch, for example. It's good planning, mm -hmm. but again, sometimes you need the whole synergy of the team to discuss each and every process. Okay. So especially when when you ask uh, the the person that's involved in that process to discuss on his process, he would tend to 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 just uh, face the ideal situation. But if you have someone from from other department uh, in that discussion, then he will he will start to tell, "Hey, I don't think it's happening that way because I'm the one who 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 been communicating with them uh, before this." All right. So you need the whole team to discuss, to go through. Take your time to go through at the whole process. So that this is step number two. Okay, you you pace the 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 step, and then number three. Step number three is that you display it as follow when there is selection in the process. So I know guys in value stream mapping in uh, doing side pop there are many many type of uh, box you can use. There are many options that you can use. Yeah? Macam -macam. Tapi in cutting the red tape, uh, we just use these two. Yeah? Either you are using the box to, to display the process or you are using this diamond if there is an option. For example, for this particular case, the customer arrive and then the reception greet the customers and then he start to check the document listing. If the customer has it, okay, you will receive the application. If the customer doesn't have it, you will not notify the customers. Okay, so that that's number three. You need to have the option. Okay, ah, uh, kalau tiba tiba you 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 pass back the 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 flow to me and said, uh, sorry sir, uh, there's no diamond, there's no option. Uh, uh, for me, uh, doesn't make sense. Yeah, because definitely because you are not doing it internally, you are dealing with customers. There must be something. There must be a process that cannot comply. Okay, betul lah, Anna. Even like betul, us betul. tadi when we we prepare apa kan, kita ada ada diamond. Uh, kalau tak boleh macam tu, kita buat macam ni. Kalau tak boleh macam tu, kita buat macam ni. If the internet is not stable, right. you off. So all protocol tu mesti ada. But it's either uh, descriptive ataupun dalam proses flow. Uh, yeah? So biasa old, right. old timer, we like descriptive. Descriptive aja, Describe right. aja. Okay, but like us, atau bukan kita, kita pun kira old timer juga eh. Uh, <laughs> maksudnya kalau the, the younger generation kan, they, they like to to have the the protocol ataupun mm. uh, what what are the things that I need to bagi bagi I the protocol then I will I will execute. So this is uh, step number three. I repeat back eh. The first one tadi you tulis the document and then the person in charge and then number two you write the processes. Number three you start to have the options. Okay, alright. So all mm. this should be should be discussed. Number three. Eh? So number four. Ah, uh, then only you connect. Jangan connect awal-awal. Then only you connect. Now because the connection ni, uh, you need to discuss. Sometimes you need to move back. Hey, okay, you thought it that way, but eh? I have evidence by data. No, no, no. Normally you pass to me first. Then only you pass to that guy. Ataupun, hey, actually you are doing that process, but you, you didn't pass to me. You just pass to your boss. So all this while, how you make decision? No, I, I'm mm -hmm. just using my, 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 my own feeling je. You see or not? Dekat, dekat the arrow ni, you don't expect when you do a process flow, all can be connected. Okay? So sometimes it can't. You have to remove back the post-it notes from, from the, 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 the main board and then you can discuss. Uh, this is issue already. This is already an issue. Doing unnecessary processes. Okay? So uh, that is step number four. Eh? You, you connect. You connect the, the processes. Okay, so, so that's number four. And then uh, last one, uh, this is the interesting part. Uh, you, after you have uh, draw the whole processes and then you have uh, connected, then you start to discuss what are the document that you use in, in each and every steps. Okay, all right, so uh, this is a bit tricky lah because you need you really need the person who who work there to tell you what are the processes that required okay but before you do the process flow it's very difficult for you to list down all the all the document that you use all right because it doesn't go by, by the flow okay so this is the best way for you to 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 look into the the, the document that 
uh, being used in that flu. Uh, believe me, guys, uh, you will identify some forms that have been duplicated for so long. You will be surprised with the info that you ask in the form that is not being used by the next parties. All right. And you will be surprised also with the number of documents that you use to process the applications. All right. So these are the steps that we 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 normally use in uh, cutting the red tape. All right. So so far it has been uh, a very effective tool. And then from here, uh, we are able to come up with the first output is the process flow. Okay. Mm. Uh, you cannot see because uh, PNC issue, I, I will I just purposely blur it, but this is the process flow. All right. Uh, of course, this has been, uh, this has been uh, uh, converted into Excel, but the initial one is just a, a piece of paper with all the post-it notes on it. All right. So this is after we finalized it. It, it becomes a, a flow. And of course, there are certain rules that you have to put in like the number of steps, the, the, the black one, you see? Uh, and then uh, you can see the options, all right? So you can see on the left side is all the percent in charge, okay? So this is output number one, okay? Output number one, you have the process flow with you, okay? The actual one, not the one for you to do accreditation, not the one for you to to keep, yeah, but this is the, the one for you to, to bring to next phase of cutting directive, which is phase two data collections. All right. So output number one is the process flow. Number two, uh, you have the document listing. Yeah. Uh, so this is also an example. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, this, uh, this output is taken from the step five just now. Okay, you, you already identify all the document used uh, in the flow and then you put it in this format. Okay, so you will see, hey, banyaknya document kita guna. Eh? Hey, why are you taking the same document? Why, why? No wonder lah. Uh, it takes so long uh, because you have to validate each and every document. All right. And some of the document not even being validated. So uh, this is the, the, the second output okay, that you will get. Okay. Then what, 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 uh, what's next? You already have a process flow, and then you already have the uh, documents. So what are you gonna do next, right? So the then only we call the 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 the, the uh, you have to identify the issue. You have to walk through. You have to walk through. You have to you have to uh, discuss with your team uh, on the issues. So normally this is based on my presentation on the twenty third. All right, I, I'm not gonna repeat back. You have to look back. The paper, okay, berapa banyak paper yang kita gunakan in the process and then you have to look into the meetings. Uh, definitely in the step you can see many meetings. Not only the meeting itself but the coordination of the meeting and the post-meeting arrangement. Right, yeah. so the, number, after you have the process flow, you, you, you have to look first into what paper that you use, uh, what kind of document that you use, number two, how many meetings you have in the flow. Because when you have this, automatically, you can identify this is a non-value added, non-value added, all right, for the customers, all right. And then number three, when there are too many teams, uh, again, I already mentioned in my last uh, workshop, teamwork is good, but sometimes too much teamwork will delay the process, okay. You don't need to do everything in the team. Sometimes uh, uh, individual can, can do faster, all right, and sometimes the work itself doesn't require a team to execute. All right, so uh, this number three, okay. Uh, the first one is a paper, number two is the meeting, number three is the team. And on top of that, uh, I already explained uh, in the, my previous session, for those who do not attend my pre previous session, uh, you can request uh, the video uh, from, from the organizer and maybe you can recap back uh, in terms of the seven ways of lead. So I already explained uh, the motion, the inventory, waiting, defect, overproduction, transposition, overprocessing. So after right. you have the process flow, you you have the document, then you start to discuss. But at the back of your of your mind or at the back of your head, uh, these are the concepts that you use for you to identify the non-value added in the process. And that will become an issue. All right. So after you, you discuss, normally this will take maybe uh, one week after you go back from the workshop, you and then there will be a consultant to be with you. Uh, you will discuss. Okay, we will discuss. 
uh, go back to this uh, the, the process flow and then you will discuss on this and definitely uh, the good thing is that the consultant is very well versed our red tape consultant is very well versed on this and they will guide you uh, if you mention an issue that is not related to this uh, maybe they will say hey, this is uh, not related to lean it just uh, maybe that is can be can be eliminated can be eliminated straight away okay so uh, Okay, after you do this uh, brainstorming on the issue, then you have the issues, all right? So this is output number three, okay? Uh, so when you do this, there are three main output. The first one is the process flow. The second one is the, uh, what I said, so process flow. And then the second one is the list of document and then the list of issues, all right? So uh, I think it's very simple, but it, it requires commitment. It requires a time that you spend together to discuss on uh, the flow, the document, and the issues. And it is well guided by the concept of uh, value stream mapping, CIPOP, uh, the uh, Cyber Mudas, all right, to identify the issues. Okay, so uh, then only after you have identified the, the, uh, the key output, then you are ready to move to the next one which is phase two, measuring the current performance. Okay, whereby uh, in this uh, phase, Nanti, uh, yeah, you're gonna have this concept lah. I think this has been mentioned by our our facilitator, Encik Kabe. He, he said, he always used this uh, term, in God we trust, all others must bring data. Again, mm -hmm. the issue that you have already identified from the process flow, sometimes is your perception, sometimes what you think. Okay, and sometimes the magnitude is not, it's not that high. It's just like, okay, uh, we don't need MyCure, we don't need this uh, cutting the program to eliminate that. So, from the issues that you gain from uh, workshop one, uh, from, from, from the process flow uh, development, then only you will validate uh, each and every issues to in data. You have to do a data collection to identify the severity of the issues, all right? So, we're gonna start to collect data. This is the next, uh, for next I think they're gonna be a top on this uh, after this. So, those who attended today's session please attend the next session so that you will have a continuity of the of the uh, cutting the red tape flow now of course all this is not the detail because the detail will only happen in the workshop all right and uh, then you start to have this uh, problem that you're going to use the y effect i will not uh, touch further on this because uh, this is a concept that we will use in order for you to identify the factors that are contributing to the issues that you have listed all right so uh all right uh the questions comes later or i finish first and okay now uh while waiting for for a question so i will just uh, give you one uh, example that i like to share i always share with my class eh, uh, when in regards to doing the process law the noodle shops okay uh, it's, it, it sounds very simple, but sometimes these are uh, the example of flow that uh, you can just draw eh, while you sit at the restaurant and order makanan. Eh. So the customer arrive and then uh, you sit down and then you take orders and then someone take order and then you communicate the orders to the chef and then the chef take a bowl, make a soup, add the soup, add noodles, boil the noodles, serve the customers and then the customer eat settle the check, clean the table, wash the bowl, put away the bowl. So, very simple lah kan. Uh, I think some, uh, after hearing to this uh, talk eh, lepas ni kalau you pergi mana-mana pun, you can, while waiting for the food kan, you boleh start uh, to tengok kan. Macam tengok, you start to scribble the flow kan. So, <laughs> tapi I think this only happen if you are alone lah. Sekarang boleh lah because social distancing kan, you cannot communicate. So, while waiting tu, you boleh lah. Okay. So, this is what uh, I observe eh, when you pergi kedai. Kan? Uh, so this is what happened. Tapi kalau I want to apply eh, what I already told you just now. Okay, if you look at this uh, step. Eh, okay, then I go to the next step. I identify siapa buat apa. So, uh, the customers arrive lah. All the yang yang putih tu customers lah. And then the, I, I divide. Uh, the yellow ones too is the uh, waitress. So if you want to draw the flow, you pergi kat mana-mana, make sure you bring two highlighter lah <laughs> to identify kan. So uh, the waitress tu take order, communicate orders, 
And then the chef tu buat yang yang tengah-tengah tu lah. Take a bowl, make the soup. So or whatever in the kitchen tu done by the chef. And then uh, the waitress ni will will do the serving again. Uh, and then uh, clean the table and so on lah. Tapi kalau I letak benda ni dekat dekat uh, dalam swim lane. Katalah I masukkan benda ni dekat dalam swim lane. You see what gonna happen. Uh, you can see tau. You know, uh, how much uh, of the step ni to the waitress. And berapa banyak to the chef. So. Kalau you tengok kat sini, uh, definitely lah, you you bagilah counselling ke apa ke to the waitress. Now, waitress, waitress we keep on telling you, I penat lah bos. Uh, Every day I feel like I've been, dia kalau ikut muda, murah, muri, eh, dia ni murah lah. Uh, the, the the victim of uh, imbalance workload. Doesn't matter lah, you bawa lah dia pergi team building 10 kali pun. But if you do not uh, really rectify, the process <laughs> you 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 the waitress will maybe the turnover will be high uh, because you are not uh, looking into the process so same mm. goes to to the uh, all these uh, project that we have done before because uh, yeah of course uh, jarang lah staff sampai berhenti kalau kerja teruk especially dekat uh, government agencies but then the pressure that they are taking due to the bad process uh, is not good you see so if you coming back to this uh, noodle shop, we call it a Yamazumi ataupun dalam bahasa senang dia accumulation chart lah. This is a very simple one ya. Eh. Kalau kita present in technical, gonna be ada timing dan semua lah. So kalau tengok kat sini, the chef tu actually dia boleh bersiul lah kat belakang kan. Eh. Oh, I tak banyak kerja. So the rest is all you. So if I were the, the, the management of this uh, restaurant, what I will do? Okay, I will I will even out the job. Uh, so let the chef serve the customers. <laughs> okay, uh, so that it will be balanced. All right. Uh, so after you have done it, after dah siap tu, tak apalah you you wear a good suit ataupun you wear a good attire, and then you just uh, serve the customers lah. Go out and I think uh, if you notice kan, if you go to any uh, Western restaurant, you 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 yeah. you boleh yeah. nampak this has been applied. The chef themselves keluar dan bagi kat you. Alright. And then so, the chef, the chef tanya, tanya customer, yeah, so how's the meal? Yeah, yeah. Can I improve uh, and everything? You know? Yeah. 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 So this is not uh, something untuk kita test uh, ataupun uh, nak suruh dia rasa juga jumpa. No, no. It's not about rasa. It's about uh, balancing the process so that semua orang kerja in the same pace and then the best, the best uh, ataupun the 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 most important thing is that the delivery would be faster. Okay, you just imagine eh, kalau waitress tadi lambat. Actually kan, the makanan lambat not because of uh, not because of the chef, you see. But because nobody ambil uh, from yeah. the counter and pass to the customers. I think ni dah selalu jadi kan. Bila sampai, makanan so, dah sejuk. So, uh, yeah, just uh, illustration uh, from the, the the step that I have given to you. Uh, so, you you buatlah balik. Uh, so, this is the next step lah. I mean, this will be on phase 3 or phase 4. Uh, you you draw back, so this become the countermeasure. So what I'm trying to tell uh, all the attendees here, all right? Uh, when we do a red tape, yeah, it's not about uh, kita buat magic, you see. It's not about taking a, a a countermeasure from the sky and then we 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 put it in, in your operation. No, actually, yeah, we just look back into your processes. We eliminate the non-value added activities and we rearrange back, all right? So at the end, uh, your delivery will be faster. At the same time, uh, the staff or the work, the the, the workforce that uh, doing the processes uh, will be more efficient. Uh, when they are efficient by research, okay. When the staff is efficient, they will be happier. They will work happier in the workplace yeah? because there's no uh, peer competitions. Everybody work in the same place. So with that end, now I will come yeah. to questions. Any question from the attendees? Uh, okay. That will be the end of my presentation. Sorry if it wow, took so long. It no, no, it's long. okay. I mean, wonderful. I mean, Shukri, what you presented is for me as, as you know that I'm as an architect. Also, we look into this yeah. angle. Process is a something essential, uh, and and beautiful, because when you take talking about your case study about this noodle shop and then the shelf itself can go down there and then ask the customer and serve the customer and uh, not only about the the processes but also to improve the quality and the performance 
So basically, what you have present today, uh, you touch all the points by visualizing the routines that you said just now, and identify the irregular irregularities of the in the operations, and also you you presented walking through the process and identify the issues of the process, which you yeah. you presented you share with us about your what is it Yamazumi, Yamazumi, yeah, Yamazumi. Ah, uh, there's 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 uh, something something beneficial for us to get to know from the Japanese culture. So this is the the things that I want to start first. Uh, you know, some people like to do process. You know, uh, low flow the dis descriptive, and some flow flow chat though. But for your opinion, Shukri, what do you think is which one is better? Is it flow descriptive ataupun the the flow chat? Which one is much better? Of course, uh, I'm very biased on that. Uh, yeah. Process flow is the best because if you process do this, flow is the best. it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, of course, uh, because if you look at the the, the older generations, uh, this is something that we're lacking in the current generation. I mean, for the millennial, you see, the previous one. Once you give instruction, they will follow. They are very disciplined. You see. So descriptive or any uh, descriptive information given to them, normally 90 to 95 percent will be executed as planned. But when it comes to this millennial or even my generation, our generation, and uh, mm. we are not uh, our our take up for descriptive is not that that good. You see, so I believe uh, process flow is the way to go. The way to yeah, go. Uh, yeah. I so, agree with so you. That, I that agree with you. Yeah, I think that's that's, for, that's the funny. Yeah, even like the 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 to to control or to balance out the discipline of the younger generation, it's good to have a process flow so that if there's any wrongdoing, anything that's not comply, you can say we have an evidence. I've already told you to do this. I already have a document, so you have to follow. But that is on the on the negative side. But on the positive side, uh, believe me, and I think the younger generation, if you give them a clear process, a protocol they will uh, follow because this uh, million generation they are the 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 the, the uh, generation who read manuals believe me but not the not the the complicated one they they read manuals all right yeah. so that that would be my answer process flow not this yeah i i agree with you because yeah. that's a basic that's a fundamental i agree with you uh, this is the one question from Encik Kabir Ahmad, Muhammad Jabil. Yeah, I think. Yo, okay, your, hey, how are you? <laughs> your Sifu is your mentor. So he said, Assalamualaikum, Encik Shukri. Why must we have everybody to be around while doing the mapping? So he said, what happened if the team decided to make it very simple process flow and hide some crucial step in the process? Okay, all right. Thanks, uh, Jacob, for the question. But I think it's more on his concern, yeah, because uh, we uh, execute this project together. I mean, he 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 was there uh, longer, yeah, uh, since 2014, if I'm not mistaken. But this is what normally happen, yeah, when we discuss. Okay, they they are uh, there were there was organization that uh, do not really share yeah, the real processes. Again, uh, the symptom of uh, nak buat kerja cepat. Okay, mm. don't really have the patience of uh, looking into the issues. Okay, to, uh, to answer that in specific, yeah, of course, uh, during the during the discussion, you can simplify the process and show that it's already completed. Yeah, this is the process that we are doing. Oh, so mm. our perception was like, wow, too good. Uh, you you execute it quite well and very fast. It's like you don't need mm. to attend the next workshop, is it? But then this will still will be will be caught eh, when you do a, a data gathering. Yeah, mm. we have many issues where uh, many scenario or many projects where uh, when we have a data gathering, tiba -tiba the sequence is not same as uh, the process law. All right. So uh, if this happened, uh, we will ask this team uh, to 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 draw back the process law. Draw back the first answer because you are not doing it in the right sequence or it's not uh, showing the right uh, to the actual scenario. So uh, we will ask them to redo again. And in the cutting the red tape program, the beauty of it, uh, as uh, it was uh, beautifully, beautifully designed, eh, 
uh, whereby if you lie in workshop one, if you try to uh, not lie, lie, if you if you uh, you can't capture it as a whole in workshop one ataupun during uh, the process flow, still uh, you will get caught in the next workshop because when we get the evidence, then you will have to amend back the process flow based on the actual one. But the next question is that, or the next concern is that, what if the data pun uh, being uh, uh, repaired ataupun you, you massage the data before you pass it during the workshop. Mm -hmm. So to answer that, you are just wasting your time. If Whoa. that really happen, you're just wasting your time. Okay. Of course, see, uh, we, 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 we will praise you lah for having a good process and so on. But then, is the process uh, in your place uh, improved? That's a big question that you have to answer. All right. right. So that would be my my answer and to check Abi. Okay. Check Abi for the I questions. Mean, and then related to that, uh, Tish Shukri, yeah? how do you ensure that to avoid any missing steps in the process flow? Because sometimes when we left it out, the, the process will be gray area for the employees. You know, some, because we are we 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 not perfect. Yeah, as you know, human being we're not perfect. Sometimes we miss out the, the step. So can you respond this? Uh, how, what is your opinion about this? Okay, this uh, memang uh, jadi kan. When we do workshop, sometimes we overlook uh, certain processes eh? because uh, the limitation is that when we do the workshop, we are not at the workplace. Uh, in mm -hmm. Japanese, what we call it, we are not at the gamba. We are not at the 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 place where the value added activities happen. So that's why I strongly suggest, uh, in order to avoid that from happen, there are two ways. Eh? The first one, uh, do a video recording, a simple one. I see. Okay? Come on, uh, if you look at the Facebook now, berapa banyak kan video can be captured easily kan? So that one without uh, purpose, tapi kalau we have a purpose, uh, that possible. Okay, we just uh, be at the front line or the front area or the reception area where the customer come and uh, send the application. Just take a video uh, for, for this purpose. Uh, that's number one. Mm. We take the video and then uh, we validate or we do a process flow based on the actual video. That's number one. Number two, even after we do the process flow and the process flow is incomplete, we still have the consultation that gonna happen uh, on the same month. So mm. uh, we do first. It's a bit reactive. We do it first and then we go to the actual place and then we confirm. If it's not uh, sufficient, we make it longer. If it's too sufficient, we make it shorter based on the actual situation. So that, that would be the method. So anyways, uh, we will get the good output. Again, I'm saying uh, cre credit to the team of MyCure uh, before. I think the, the program has been beautifully done. Sampai dia ada quality gate, you see. You cannot go to the next process before you settle the, the previous process uh, in total. Mm. Yes. Right, right, right. So do you, I mean, do you think that is a good to empower employee to do management of ch change in this organization? Is it yeah, what, course, what is the setback? Course. What is the setback? What is of the course. setback? Of course, uh, because uh, when actually when you start to uh, enter the journey of uh, cutting the red tape or to be specific this micro program, it's already a, a, a bull step to empower your staff to make a decision. Yeah, because uh, through our experience, normally the good countermeasures will be coming from your staff, from the staff mm. that are performing the work uh, down there. Uh, all this while, uh, he has or he or she has uh, a good solution, but uh, they are not given a good platform to to, right. to tell. Or maybe maybe even after even if they already mentioned the the solution that they have in mind, it's not uh, validated by good data. Okay, uh, we can have a perception maybe dia ni memang malas nak kerja ataupun he want to show off another sort of thing, you know, office politics. But uh, by doing this, my it 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 will uh, validate uh, whatever uh, suggestion from the staff, and of course to answer you, it will empower the staff. Uh, to to uh, uh, lead uh, to ataupun to to improve the process. All right. So that would be my answer and for that. 
I see, I see. Okay, Ajay Shukri, it will be the last question here. We need your yeah. advice. Yeah, we need your advice. What is your advice? Is there an organization which already have uh, the hybrid SOP, you know, the hybrid SOP, descriptive and process flow. How to synchronize this and rearrange it, remanage it? Okay. To answer you straight, again, I'm very biased to, to my answer. <laughs> I mean, because we, we, what I'm trying to ask you, because it's up to date version, is uh, we dealing people like us, we dealing with those people, like millennial people, this generation, they love to, to do the such things, you know. So it's our empowerment. So how to manage it? How to to blend it together with this this young generation? Okay, uh, I do believe uh, because uh, for 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 this scope of uh, uh, training, I thought this scope of uh, talk. Eh? Uh, again, uh, the underlying concept is uh, deep management Six Sigma, whereby we are very concerned in terms of the process and how you can eliminate the, uh, the non-value added activities. But uh, as you mentioned about the hybrid processes and so on, I do believe uh, there must be some model that can be incorporated uh, on top of the Lean and Six Sigma so that mm -hmm. uh, it will be more... Uh, uh, related ataupun it, it will be uh, synchronized to this uh, uh, descriptive uh, flow or any other uh, IT uh, announcement that is made in the system because uh, our concern ataupun our approach here is more on the step the, the conventional step and then we remove uh, the non-value added okay but uh, to answer you on the hybrid things uh, we need we need also exposure on the model on the model of the IT announcement so that we can we can uh, improve it uh, further but these two uh, these two uh, type of uh, process flow has to this has to sit down and discuss so that we have a better uh, delivery but i i strongly believe if that can happen the delivery of the services can be even faster than what Mike you're able to 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 uh, show or able to uh, improve yeah right 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 okay Jesh, okay any last word from you because i believe uh, this is a very informative session that you share today with us any last word from you okay so uh thank you very much uh to all the crowd for spending your time uh, listening to this uh, process flow development uh, topic uh, what i would uh, advise uh, to all the attendees today uh, start to look into your processes in details using the step that i've already uh, shared with you uh, especially now uh, during the mco periods uh, maybe some of the factory or some of the company already work 100 uh, percent but uh, mostly still uh, uh, i think it's not 100 percent operated so make use of this uh, time okay to look into the processes all right you you should start to ask your your staff to to write down what are the steps that you are doing uh, every day and then use the the, the concept or to use the step to uh, realize that uh before this mco the operation or the routine that we are doing is not a proper ones okay so so that uh when all this uh the mco uh when we exit this mco we will come back to office with a better understanding to the process better control of the operations and we will deliver uh, we will we will produce more or we will deliver better to the customers so it, it's not about uh, implementing yeah, but at least you will have a better control of the operations and you know uh, what are the things that need to be done in future all right of course uh, we have many uh, intervention or it announcement can be done uh, by the fingertips uh, you can just yeah. change it by investing but sometimes even though you have this it announcement in place if the process is not good or there are many non-value added uh, activities in there it will never work all right so that would be my last word and 
too long. Wow, yes. wonderful, 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 Shufi. Okay. I think uh, okay. today's session that you share with us is a, uh, I can tell you, is a very, very essential, very important for us. At least, is a uh, open mind blowing. And thank you so much for your time and uh, spending time with yeah. us, and then your your research. And then we do keep in touch with you because I ordered you the kueh raya. Huh? Kueh yeah, yeah. Eh? You sell it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we send it. Very, you. very good. Yeah. All right, all right. So whoever, anybody attendees who interested to to order the kueh raya kueh tart, I think you better try from Shukri. Yeah, Chen Shukri have done a very nice kueh tart, and also he uh, <laughs> share with me the lemang, lemang panjang from Bangi. So okay, dear attendees, thank you so much for joining us in MyCure uh, from and, MPC. And before I forget, yeah, sorry. Uh, can yeah, inform that they they can get the material from the handout. I, I uh, yes, really, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, that's good. So for the all attendees, uh, our speaker, you know, they're willing to share this uh, handout. So do keep in touch with us because there will be uh, the next MyCure. So before that, I would like to wish all all of you Selamat Hari Raya, and then today is our final week for Ramadan, and then. Based on the our speaker today, Encik Shukri Hadafi uh, has presented to us, hold the visions, drop the excuses, remember your way, sway around the obstacles, and trust the process. Okay, with that, thank you so much. Stay safe, stay productive, be well. Selamat Hari Raya to all of you. Assalamualaikum Selamat warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Raya. Selamat, 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 Selamat Hari Raya. Selamat Bye and thanks, thanks. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Shukri. InsyaAllah kita jumpa kat Rembau. Okay. <laughs> well done guys, well done. Good. Bagus, saya tadi seramai kat saya ni. Hmm. Ya, yeah, quite a uh, huge number juga. I was surprised. Hmm. Mm, quite a number oh, because uh, like we like we say just now it's Monday morning and eh? I think because yeah, of yeah, the, yeah. the the topic itself the continuity from from previous though I think this is good is there any next continuity Shufri? Adelie? Yeah I, I strongly believe we should we should uh, I think there is a topic lah, on the data data tu, uh, data management tu. Okay bagus. Why effect? I think it's a Dengan, dengan MPC Micro. Very well. Okay. So, we leave it. Okay, with that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Terima kasih. Okay. Bye. Wait okay. for your okay. okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Nanti I order you. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Okay. Salam. Tula.